Hey YouTubers, this is Creator Insider and our weekly news flash, the best place for you to find out what's happening on YouTube direct from the tech team. Now, if you're new, make sure that you subscribe. So our first update is around testing new designs for the like and dislike buttons. Now, feedback has always been a huge part of YouTube and it will continue to be. But we've heard that the dislike counts can affect creator well-being and sometimes are part of a motivated campaign to target a creator's upload. So we're testing designs that remove the count behind dislikes. This is in an effort to improve the creator experience, but also to ensure that viewer feedback is still accounted for and shared back to the creator. What does that mean for creators and viewers? Well, creators, you will still see the like and dislike counts in YouTube Studio, and viewers, you'll still be able to like and dislike videos if you're in these experiments and you'll still be able to tune the recommendations that YouTube provides you with as a result. Now, we want as much feedback as possible, so you know the drill. Make sure you leave a comment below if you have strong feelings either way. All right, that's likes and dislikes out of the way. We wanna to get to an exciting launch. These are around pre-published checks. Now, this is a feature that Asaf and Anne referred to on the channel in previous months. If you're not familiar, make sure you check out a link in the description below. But the great news is that these pre-published checks have launched to 100% of channels. Next up, we have a really great announcement where we're running an experiment on video descriptions. Now, last October, we announced that we were moving video descriptions on mobile into their own panel, quite similar to comments. What we're doing as part of this experiment is adding new sections to the description, such as chapters or featured games. And what we're doing as part of this experiment as well is experimenting with how the description text appears. The text that you write for your description will still appear at the top of the panel, but the text will display as a preview by default. Viewers can still click and expand on this if they want to read the entire description. This next update is something I'm really excited about. It's a, one of my favorite parts about the mobile experience, and that is Explore. Launched in March of 2020, this is something that we're now bringing to desktop. So over the coming days, users will see trending in the guide switch to explore. Now, it's still gonna be the location of things like creators on the rise and artists on the rise, as well as destinations like gaming and learning. We're doing this to make sure that we have a more seamless experience between desktop and mobile. Make sure you leave any feedback you have in the comments below. All right, next up, we have a really exciting experiment, and this is one that's called Watch YouTube on Twitter. Now, Twitter is running a one-month experiment of its own, which will see YouTube links converted into the YouTube embedded player for 1% of iOS viewers in specific countries. That is just about it on this week's news flash, but I didn't want to go until I addressed an audience question. And this week, our question comes from David Marston, who commented underneath our video about hateful and derogatory content as part of our series to dig in to the advertiser-friendly guidelines and provide some context and guidance through the lens of self-certification. Now, David asks, what about self-derogatory humor and self-hate? Because most British humor would be banned. So being Irish, I'm more than familiar with self-derogatory humor. It's a huge part of, part of my culture. Uh, and I can say that that is perfectly fine to run ads. But some tips would be making sure that you don't use you know, extreme profanity um, and you don't make jokes at the expense of a protected group. And in that case, you're fine to run ads. So keep these questions coming. Um, more than happy to answer them. All right, that is it for this week's news flash. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll be back next week for another news flash from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. It's been a pleasure.